over the past <laughs> month, we've too. been celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month here on California Live. And as it comes to a close, Layla's with an artist who designed one of the largest murals in the world. It highlights how diverse communities, including Latinos, help create California's culture. It is rare that anyone can get this close to the Great Wall of Los Angeles, a half mile long mural on the west wall of the Tahunga Flood Control Channel. This is the vision, the masterpiece of Dr. Judy Baca. She is the muralist behind this. It's so wonderful to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to the Great Wall. We talk about hidden gems on California Live. This is truly a hidden gem. Jim, now talk about back when this all started in 1974. What was your vision? Well, my vision was that we could bring people from different neighborhoods all over the city and young people could work together across race and class and that they would tell a story that it was a unified vision of the building of our country and particularly California. First thousand feet was uh, young people from the juvenile justice system on a program that was about recidivism, you know, trying to redirect young people from who had been arrested or had been in trouble with the police. And so they were hired, all of the, all the young people, over 400 of them in, in this production um, uh, were students and paid workers. So they earned summer monies, they learned to work across race, they learned the stories that were not only their stories, but the stories of their families and, and, and of other racial groups. And we created friendships that have lasted a, line, a lifetime. Judy, how did you decide which part of California history to tell and the different sections? Well, that was quite a wonderful set of research. Uh, um, we, we asked um, uh, historians, we asked people who were from this region and, and, and all scholars, like, how, what could we put in the mural that just could not be left out? So when we got to the 1920s, for example, or the 30s, we say, what can you not forget um, about African-American history or Latino history that must be included. And so that's how we came to uh, arrive at uh, um, a number of these pieces. And uh, one of those pieces is a piece behind me, which is a piece that speaks about the deportation of half a million people from California during the 30s, uh, during a period which was called the Repatriation Act. And it was an anti-immigrant sentiment much like the one we've been experiencing. And the LA Times, you, you can see the Imperial newspaper, actually it's the Imperial. That's mm. exactly from the headlines. Wow. Judy, when you come down here, is there ever a point when you're here and you think, I see something different, <laughs> but like I'm seeing it for the first time, even though you know the whole wall? Absolutely. I know it on the level that I know where the ants come in on a crack of the wall, right? <laughs> but what I see oftentimes is the perspective of an aging woman of a woman who started this in her 20s. And now, as a, as a woman that's, you know, growing to be a senior and is a, a much wiser person, I can't really believe that I would ever think I could do something like this. And I, I see the length of it, the scale of it, and I'm kind of overwhelmed by that person who started this work. But you did, <laughs> and so many others did with you. Yes. And guess what? It's not over because the wall will have an expansion. So you're taking it now to a full mile. Tell me about that. So coming back on the other side of the wall, we'll be extending it a full mile and telling a contemporary story all the way up to the contemporary times. And again, we're going to be struggling with what should be in this. What should we tell at this particular time that we're living? What is the most important parts of the 60s? Year round, we'll be working with young people and training them not only to be painters, but also to learn the stories of various people that make up our story, that it's oftentimes not included in our history books. So you'll bring the painting down here once it's all complete. And then it will be attached yeah. to the wall and it will be there permanently. This is magnificent in a word. I mean, just driving through here, Judy, with my camera and getting video, it was just, I, I was speechless. This is absolutely wonderful. Thank you.